Good morning, everybody. So, today, guys, it's going to be an amazing day. Hopefully, guys, we can find something great. If not, as always, we've been blessed and we've been blessed with a lot more. So, guys, let's get started with our dumpster diving adventure. Good morning, good morning, everybody. And as always, happy Wednesday. Good morning, Joan. How are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me go ahead, you guys, and put my mask on so we can get this party started. Hello, hello, everybody. And as always, what did you have for breakfast? Hi, Mika. Hi, Sherry. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. What did you have for breakfast and where are you tuning in from? Go ahead and leave that down in the comment section. Also, you guys, let me know how did you go about finding Mom the eBayer? And last but not least, where are you tuning in from? Hi, Joan. Hi, Antonia. Hi, Kelly. Good morning, Marvin. Good morning, Adelia. Hi, Rosanna. Good morning from Toronto. Good morning, Samantha from Sherport, Louisiana. We have Sherry from Las Vegas. Hi, Cynthia. Good morning, sweetheart. Hi, Mika. She is from New York. Good morning, everybody. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn you around. We have Kelly from the UK. Yes, go ahead, you guys. Let me know where you are tuning in from, okay? I love, 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 love going back, seeing where you guys are tuning in from. And if you are new here to the channel, I am a Chicago girl. So I am diving all the way in Chicago. Hi, we have Australia in the house. We have Knoxville, Tennessee. We have Maryland. Good morning, everybody. What do you guys think I will find today? Leave it down in the comment section. What do you think your girl will find today? I found some cool stuff, you guys, already. So I'm super excited about those finds. Make sure you tune in to Friday's video and you will see what that is. Yesterday, you guys, I shipped off eight items. So I'm so excited about that. And I have a few more items that's uh, up for bids. So. The stuff, been, uh, the stuff that I've been finding has been selling. So that is a blessing. A true, true, true blessing. And I'm trying to get my groove back, you know, after my long vacation from, uh, for surgery. Well, you know, from having surgery. So just trying to get back into the swing of things. I've been working out. So that's been going great. I've lost a few pounds because I gained five pounds when I was on my sabbatical but i've lost about three pounds so i'm still trying to get that extra weight off you guys other than that i've been doing great how are you i see something back there look like a little baby walker back there that i will be getting and donating how are you guys good morning hi kimberly watching from misa arizona good morning Good morning, good morning. This is what caught my attention right here. And it looked like it's in pretty good condition too. No, it's not. It's messed up. So I'm gonna leave that here. Don't want a baby falling through. Don't want a baby falling through. So I'm gonna leave that there. What do we have out here in the world of goodies, you guys? What do you guys think I will find? Go ahead, leave it in the comment section. Pillows. Don't want those. I have so many pillows on my bed, you guys. All plush luxury pillows that I found out here in the land of goodies, honey. So I don't need any more pillows. I found a few throw blankets that I don't need and I will be donating those. Don't need any more of those either. 
I see something on top of the can though. Across the way. We'll go over there and check it out. Right here. Right there. What is this? Oh, cool. Look at that. See, brand new stuff. People just leave on top of the can. It's a little bubble kit. You know, you put the little bubble solution in this pan here and you fly them all over the place using these little wands right here. So cool. I can keep that for the summertime. Great fun activity for my baby. Samuel. See some hangers down there. Don't want those. Cool. So far, so good. All righty. I guess I probably should keep the truck there. Yeah, I got my key right here. Okay. Don't want to be in the way. Let's see. See like a little pad down there. Don't need that. See a little stand over there. We'll go over there and check, check it out in a moment. Mm -hmm. Oh no, no, that's not a stand, that's a chair. Nice wooden chair. Good morning. Hold on, I gotta go back and see who said that. Good morning, everybody. Hold on, let me see. Who just said good morning? Hi, Kenyatta, good morning. Hi, Vera, hi, Amy, good morning. Hi, Lon what is it, Lana? Lois, hi, Kimberly, good morning. Hi, Sharon. Good morning. All right, let's go back and get the truck, y'all. In the meantime, I'm going to say good morning to you. Hi, Anna. Hi, Odelia. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Brandon's mom. Kimberly Dagon, good morning. She said, I ran across Mom the Ebear on YouTube during the pandemic, and I have been hooked ever since. I've been a fan for four years. Thank you. Thank you so much for the support. Do you mostly just dive in areas like that or do you go to stores too? No, Amy, I do not go to stores. I get that question all the time. I just dive in neighborhoods because the stores here, they lock up the cans. So trying to get new items from the stores is nearly impossible. So my area of expertise <laughs> are the neighborhoods. You know, you have some divers that will go to uh, the stores and that's because it's open and open and freely available for them and it's not for me so I got to do what I got to do and like I said you win some and you lose some and I'm still winning okay <laughs> because the things that I find are usually one of a kind hard to find uh, I find gold I find jewelry high-end clothes and people at the stores don't find that stuff so you know we all have our little niches and this is mine Okay, so you'll find something different over here on this channel. The last time I did dive at Bath and Body, Bur Body, Bur Body Works was a while ago. And since then, they closed the dumpster. So, nope. She said, I just started dumpster diving two months ago and I do like you are doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have this perfect. Yep. Somebody said, imagine finding a big juice hamburger still wrapped, untouched. That would be sweet and great way to start the day. All right, again, let's go.
Let's get on up out of here. All right, let's ride, y'all. There we go. Bye, Walker. <laughs> Gotta leave you here. Okay, let's see. That's the chair. We've got to pass that. Uh, let's go down a little further. All right, we're going to get out right here and let's see what we can find. We got a move out truck up ahead. Yep, we do. Let me pull over and let this person through so I can dive. Come on. People are still tossing out trees. Seeing them everywhere. And reefs. All right, let's get out right here. Look at the big reef down there on the ground. Oh, yikes. Mm. With the lights still attached. They probably should have took the lights off. So they won't have to buy it again next year. But hey. <sighs> Good morning. Hi, Annie. Hi, pull my finger. Pull my finger. Hi, Christine. Good morning. Where are you guys are coming up with these uh, handle names from? Pull my finger. <laughs> what made you come up with that? <laughs> oh, shoot. I gotta know. What was your thought process behind that name? like I'm coming down with some kind of cold or something. I'm sniffing more now that I was last week. I hope not.
Hmm. What is that? Let's get out. It's definitely something in there. Some lights. And a piggy bank. But I don't know what that white stuff is. So. We got some rugs right here. Oh, the lights don't look too good. Yeah, it's broken. All right, let's keep going. Oh, oh boy. Let's keep going. I want to go back to the other location. I think I'm going to do that. Go back this way. Oh, shoot. I can't. The truck is too big. Oh, man. More pillows, yep. See some stuff in there. Let's see what that is in there. All right, let's go ahead and look. I guess it's something like a little roll. You put a garbage can or something on here, and you just roll whatever you need to roll. Yeah. We have some wooden ones too. Barrel movers. Okay. These actually can be donated. Somebody might want those. Yeah, I could donate those. We still have the tag on them. I wonder if I can sell them on eBay. I'm going to see if they work on eBay first. All right, cool. Paper, no pads here. Oh, coloring page. Okay. Okay, still in the, the, the wrap, the cellophane wrap. Okay, cool. Giant coloring pages, Moana. Sam, I like that. Cool. All right. Cool. We have these little notepads right here. The University of Chicago notepads. Here. 
it's okay to be with you. Welcome. And I'm in the man, I'm in the head. It's okay to be safe. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hi, she said, Angel, I forgot to tell you, happy Valentine's Day. Those are for you to put some pumps on so you would. Okay. She said, I watch again. Alrighty, y'all. Let's keep moving. How we gonna do this? Okay, let's see. Okay. Let's keep going, y'all. Trying to see what I can see through the bag. <laughs> look like anything good. Okay, let's keep moving. trees you're probably wondering why I'm passing up so many cans because some houses because I come over here all the time. I know the houses that throw out the good stuff and the ones that don't. So I don't even bother looking in the cans that don't. So looking for some material. I have a arts and craft project that I'm going to do for my dining room. I found these frames about three months ago that I need to spray paint, spray paint black. And um, I'm looking for some material to go in it. What the world? What are these? Oh, these are eyeglasses cases. Okay. You don't need those. Somebody might want those. Cool looking leather eyeglass cases. Okay. We have a there. Some flower 
stuff down there. Look at those pretty flowers. Some baby breath. I don't know why they threw that away. Sound like it's pretty good. Hi Jacqueline, good morning. I don't know, is this a lap desk? I believe it is. It's in pretty good condition too. Long clippings. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, Amy. That it could possibly be that. Amy said it looked as if it was something that I can use, put my knees on while I'm bathing the baby. I see something on top of the can. Oh, okay. They still have the lotions and shampoos and conditioners on top of the can here. Somebody took the other stuff that was up there. Let's see if they threw out something else. No. Okay. Yeah, I had more stuff up here. They took it. What in the world is that? What is that? Let's go back there and I see something over there. What is this? What is that? Let's see. What is this? Kind of full stone. Mm -hmm. The Random House Dictionary. This is worth the Dr. Seuss book that I found sold. So I'm gonna go and take a look at this. See what that's worth, if anything. Probably get a few bucks for that. Cool. Yeah, I sold the Dr. Seuss book for a hundred bucks. And it's sold. So this may go for something. Don't know. Put it right here. Look at it when I get home. Do a little bit more research on it. See something on top of the can right here. Let's get out and take a look. And I see more stuff down here too. Over there. Let's see. And then I see, okay, cool. Let's look at all of these cans over here. Thanks.
I'm gonna take this bag. This bag can sell a lot. A few bucks. My clip. My clip. I'm gonna take that bag. Yes. Hmm. Air fryer over there. A yoga mat. House shoes. Hangers. garbage can okay hi who is this Mika hi good morning you finally called me hi welcome Hi, Robin. Good morning. Hi, sis. Cece. Yep. $100 I got for it. Thank you. Amy, it was the Dr. Seuss book. I don't know if you saw that dive, but I found a bunch of books in the garbage can. Well, it was a Dr. Seuss book in there called The Hidden Secrets or something like that. <clears throat> well, anyway, yeah, it sold for 100 bucks. Hi, Karen from Australia. Alrighty. Yep, I sold that. I'm thinking about all the stuff that I sold. I sold the book. I sold the American Girl doll. I sold those glasses. I don't know if you guys remember me finding some eyeglasses. It was probably a few months ago. But anyway, when I listed it immediately, I got some bids on those. 
So I did sell that. So yeah, I've been, you know, been pretty blessed. The things that I've been listing, they are flying off the shelves. So like I told somebody just that's just asked, you know, do I get things from the stores? No, I don't, but I'm still winning, you know. In one way, shape, or another, the Lord is always providing. came over here on Monday, they didn't throw out anything new. So I don't need to get out to look at that. like a bunch of food. This is what caught my attention, whatever that is. Let's see what that is. McCormick's seasoning container. Yep, okay. I finally caught you since I've been. Hi, Mika. Hi, Danny. Thank you. All right, let's go to another location. Can you guys see? She said, what is the most expensive thing you found out here so far? Oh, I found so much. Um, I found a gold coin, a real gold coin. I don't know what the value is now. The last time I checked, it was $1,000. Um, 
of course, all of my high-end jewelry. Um, it's a lot. The, the clothes that I find out here, so it's a lot. It's really a lot, hard to say because I find a lot of expensive stuff out here, but I would say the gold coin is probably the most expensive because it's still increasing in value. That and the gold uh, necklace that I found that I haven't sold. I'll hold on to those. Uh oh, excuse me. It's 1.20 in the morning. You can't sleep, huh? She's in Australia. And uh, she said it's 1.20 in the morning. You can't sleep, huh? So I appreciate you <laughs> watching me. Thank you. Yep, I have. She said, have I ever found a designer purse like a Louis Vuitton? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, what's that? Let's get out and take a look. In there. Look at this, y'all. Oh, I hope I can find the other slipper. Let's see. A life game. Dang, it would have been nice if I could have found the other house shoe for my little dude. Oh, here it is. Is that it? Wait. No, that's a mitten. Good morning, everybody. Thank you all so much for being here today. She said, I found you about a year ago. No, a year supply of Ziploc bags from Dollar General. That's what's up. You know, it's little things like that. Finding little things like that is what makes dumpster diving so awesome because you save your household so much money. You know, that's why I love doing this. Man, we don't have to, my, I don't really have to buy hardly anything because I find everything pretty much out here dumpster diving. And my husband, when I bring stuff home, we should see the smile on his face. <laughs> and when he smiles, it makes me smile. So to be able to support my house and my home in this way is, it makes me feel good as a wife, as a mother, you know? these homes over here.
Let's go this way. Can you close it? Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. All right, let's get out, guys. And this will be the last alley that I'll go through today. She said, what's the most beautiful neighborhood in Chicago? Oh, we it's so many neighborhoods here in Chicago that's so pretty. And it's also so cool because you'll find yourself in a neighborhood that's not so pretty. And then like a few blocks up, you'll be amongst all the beautiful homes. So we have little pockets of neighborhoods here in Chicago that's awesome. So I can't really tell you because there's so many. Hi, Zai. Good morning. So let me see if I can think of any. Uh, you have Beverly, you have High Park, you have um, Lincoln Park. That's just to name a few. said how close to you is six flags six flags is about a 45 minute drive from where i live but where i am now it's about a good mm, about 30 30 minutes oprah neighborhood nope oprah's neighborhood is close to downtown it's like the west loop and you trust me actually where i was on monday that was pretty much oprah's neighborhood and as you did see i wasn't able to get anything over there and this is just the season you know it's just that time of year where things will be a little slow once you know the summertime gets here it'll be much better but i'm not tripping just like with any other job you know you have your high peak days and then you have your low point so it's the same thing no different but i'm still always able to find something so that's what i'm usually grateful for just the, the many blessings that i come across when i'm out here no matter how great they are or how small they are they are all blessings Yep, you guys, so this is going to be the last alleyway, okay? You can keep asking questions, and if I see it, I'll answer it. And that's what I usually like to do, too, during the downtime. I like answering the questions that I can't usually get to when I'm busy. I'm good. Thank you for asking, Zai. She said, my sister and my nephew went there on a field trip for school. I hope they had fun. I'm sure they did. I guess you're talking about Six Flags, right? one area I want to go to, but I can't find those cans. I'm trying to keep thinking I'm going in the right direction, but apparently I'm not. Where are those cans? Let me think. I'm way past them, too. I'm gonna go around here and see if I can find them. But I know they are close by. Definitely pass them up. Let me see. <clears throat> think, let me think. I 
um, oh, I can't go this way. I'm going to go this way. It's a one way. What am I doing? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm close to it. Okay, so yeah. And then once I come from over here, then I'll be done. But I want to go check out these cans. They usually throw away some nice stuff over here. I always got to go up a little closer to see. Yep, okay. Yep, this way. Here they are. It's funny how I come. <laughs> I recognize the alley more so in the neighborhood. I go through them so much. All right, here it is right here. This can right here. And then the one up there. She said, how long have you been diving, girl? About 12 years. A long time. Yep, about 12 years. Thank you, sis. Yep, 12 years. <laughs> and I love the freedom because I get to stay home and raise my babies, you know? I'm not on anybody else's schedule. I don't have to clock in, don't have to stay where I don't want to be. So it's been working out. Definitely working out, so. I'm not complaining. All right, y'all. I think that's it. Yeah, I wanted to check these because I'm always finding stuff over here. All right. Let me turn you around. Hold up. Forgot they turned it. They put it on this side. Hey, you guys. Amy said, oh, wow, you have to teach me the tricks. I would love to visit Chicago. And die with you. Okay, Amy. Hi, fire rain. Do the neighborhoods ever speak to you where you die? The neighbors. Yes, they do. They do. She said, that's what I love. Since being a stay-at-home mom, I told my hubs I feel like I can do this for a living. I mean, that's what I've been doing as a stay-at-home mom. And it's been working out for me and my husband. She said, hi, Janine. Angel, I've been following you since you were pregnant with Sam. Oh, wow. That was almost four years. That was four years ago. Sam is four now. She said, I see girls diving in my city all the time. Yeah, it's definitely becoming a new thing. And people are, in, are enjoying it. And it's uh, very lucrative. You know, so big ups to those that are doing it. And if you are interested, just keep watching channels. And eventually you'll be inspired. Trust me. All right, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and get off. Thank all of you guys so much for being here today. All right, I love you all. You guys have a great, wonderful day. Also, if you are not following me on my family vlogging channel, make sure you do so. Hi, Emily from England. Make sure you do so, okay? And I will leave the link down in the comment section of this video. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you share it with family or friends. And make sure you tune in to Friday's video. All right. In the meantime, in between time, you guys have a great, wonderful day. I love you all and take care. Goodbye for now.